All right, this is Quality of Life, uh, New Covenant Grace Teaching Ministry. We are here to build up the body of Christ. And uh, this is the second tape of two. We're talking about rooted. As we were talking about earlier, um, sod is grass. And what we do is we lay that down on uh, a flat surface of dirt, um, cultivated soil. And of course we know the soil um, before we lay the sod down is, uh, is going to symbolize a spiritual truth. 1 Corinthians 3.11, it says, No one can lay any other foundation other than the one that's being laid, that which is Jesus Christ. Now, of course, when we lay down the sod, which is the grass, um, it, was, it was loose when we sat it in, down on the soil. But what we've noticed after time, after watering, um, is the sod actually uh, becomes one with the soil. And so now, to remove this sod is going to be absolutely impossible. I'm going to read from Ephesians 4.2, which reads, With all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love. The Apostle Paul is writing to the church in Ephesus, These are Gentile Christians, as we are as well. So we apply this in our life. The importance of being rooted in Christ before bearing fruit is crucial because it's only the life of Christ that can bear his own character. Yes, I will explain that. Galatians 5.22, it says um, that the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, long-suffering, and self-control. And so this is the character of Christ. And so in Christ today, as believers, um, we are to trust in that life as our source to bear um, the fruit of the Spirit. Now, it's very important for us to understand rooted in Christ. Um, once we're in Christ, we're in Christ. And uh, as we are being rooted deeper, uh, the roots are going deeper and deeper into the soil. Um, we're going to really, really understand what this all means to bear fruit. And we're going to see that it's not in and of ourselves, but it's in trusting in that life that we were placed in at salvation. And so our uh, spiritual birth is going to determine our identity. Um, Romans 12.1, the Apostle Paul said he gave us uh, a reason or a purpose for uh, um, why we're here as believers in Christ. And it says this, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, which is your holy and pleasing spiritual act of worship. Now, as a caregiver, I was in a facility the other day helping a hundred-year-old lady. I'm not going to mention her name. That's not important. But it took me an hour and a half to help her. In an hour and a half's time, she had asked me um, ten times what day it was. And so, when we participate with the Lord, um, and that's what Christ as Lord means, it's just we participate with Him. We have a free will to choose, to shift, um, and so our will is going to, we're going to choose to walk after the flesh and try to do it in and of our own strength, or we're going to shift and we're going to choose from our will and choose to shift over to trusting Christ as our Lord to do this work through us. Now because I did shift at that very moment when I was helping this resident um, as a caregiver um, with the spirit of humility, meaning I, I was just offering my spirit, soul, and body to the, to the Lord and, and, ask, and trusting Him to live His life through me at this very moment with, when I was helping this uh, elderly lady. There was gentleness, there was patience, and there was bearing with one another in love. And so, I wanted to thank you. This has been Rooted, the two of two. Remember, you are the most important person here because without you, we couldn't teach. And remember, we learn so we can teach, and we teach so we can learn.